It's 11 a.m. in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I don't think the roosters are awake for some reason. We're recording this super replay super early. Dan, your eyes are barely open. How you doing, sir? Roosters? Early? <laughs> <laughs> I guess Saturday. there's no roosters in a city. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Tim Turry's here. Hi. Hi. Jeff Cork's here. Hello. Hello. We're playing Psychonauts. We we're are. Uh, getting toward the end. We're getting close. Is that a lie? Are we being yeah. honest? I was checking with my memory before we went on the air, and I think we oh, probably got a few episodes. We're like 80%. Right? Memory.com. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, we're going to call that Dan's archive. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy's chin looks like uh, a, a prune. I want to grab a California his raisin. His head's a California raisin. He's got a Jelenokin. Jelenokin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, no marketing support. Advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. That's probably uh, <gasps> it looks, the game put it out. looks more like a butt in his avatar picture. I think yes. Was trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could hmm. stop. Yeah. Hmm. So that help you, Jeff. I know that would be uh, beneficial. Does Razzling keep his goggles on when he's in someone's head? Yeah, he usually makes a big production out of putting them on. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. I'm gonna attack him more. Yeah. Idea. Crude towel boy disguise. Idea. You go get that billboard painted, and I'll reward you handsomely, which is how I do it. Handsomely. Oh, yeah, he's handsome. Oh As brother. Guys, <laughs> I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it and that's no bull. <laughs> Hey! You got the confusion badge. Here we go. Oh, is this a new ability here? Yes. Yep. This is the this is rock music. I thought it sounded like the Star Wars award music. It starts with the rocky music uh, and then it goes to the Star Wars thing. Yes. We we reach. I think it consensus. starts like Star Wars too. I will play it after this. I'm going to throw my hands in the air. I will play it. I'm going to say Dan that afterwards. The Star Wars music. <laughs> <laughs> The Star Wars music starts just like that, too. Okay. It does. At the end of New Hope? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's pretty damn close. And they're it all blew, getting their it medals. Blew my, it blew my mind when I learned that it wasn't called A New Hope when it came out initially. And that that what subtitle was, was picked up later. What, what was, was it called? During the title Apparently, wasn't it just crawl, Star Wars? Right? I heard it was just yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, it was just Star Wars, but like but the title crawl still the said style, The title four. crawl said it, but like it wasn't referred to as A New Hope. No, because I remember like the VHS my dad used to have. It just said Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go back to 1977. Okay. With, you just uh, released a movie called Star Wars. Okay. Well, but I'm they're rich. like, you know what? We're going to have a sequel. We should put a subtitle on this one. Let's let's put a colon in there and give it a title. What would you give it? Oh, we get to make like, our own instead subtitle? Instead of New Hope, yeah. I think New Hope's you... great. Because what's nice is that it doesn't sound like the beginning of an entire series. It sounds like it could be the fourth entry in something. Because to have a New Hope implies that they're were bad times before it. Luke's wild ride. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> cool hand Luke. Blowing up the Death Star. That's a spoiler. Oh, yeah. Easy Let's try to blow up the Death Star, guys. <laughs> Easy rider. <laughs> hmm. Wait, did you just... Oh, you confused the ball. He's what? dancing. I'm supposed to paint I find this. A hook for this painting, so it will come to life like hmm. the dog said. I don't know how to paint. Looks like a Randy Orton t-shirt. Oh you know who God. does know how to paint? Who? Clearly everyone else. Because they all have paintbrushes. What, what is, is that? That was weird. Yeah, that's really strange. Hey, get that. Isn't that a figment? Yeah. Jeez. You don't even care anymore, Jeff. I know. It's like that song. Which song? The Phil Collins one was in GTA 5. Oh. <laughs> what a great soundtrack. It's so good. Rebel Radio all day. Yeah, Rubber Radio is good. So is Rock Radio. Yeah, those are the two I go between. <laughs> I recently discovered the Pop Station too. That has some good '80s tunes in there. Okay, I am I am one of those people that are disappointed by the lack of metal. It's more just like kind of punky, like type stuff. And I'm uh, I want I want some good metal. I felt like Travis or Trevor would be really into it. He could be a Travis if he wanted to. Yeah, you know. Let's explore Jeff Cork's brain right now. Uh, what's going on, Jeff? Uh, you know what you're doing. I don't know what how to paint. Dan, do you remember how to paint? Because I, I can no. confuse the bowl. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, in my memory? Yeah, in yeah. That's you know, how like that works, when I said you. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to think of my personal life I ever painted, but then I thought you're you're referring to my memory. You probably have some really strong, um, un ill-informed opinions on painting. Probably like a real I have zero oh, opinions wait. on painting. No, 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 uh, that's not true. Okay. What? I sat on an airplane with you, Dan, and you drew a picture. Oh, no, that's drawing. I like drawing. And you painted it with paint tools. Well, it was technically a mess paint, yeah. 
Uh, what was that like? The was dinosaur. Penis. It was uh, no, no penises. Dinosaur nice. attacking New York and a jet plane with like the American flag pointed on it, painted on it, to, like was taking it down or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably it. <laughs> All right, let me check my memory here. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite things to do is oh. to screw up just to watch Jason. His, like, react. He just cringes so much, and it just is delightful. <laughs> just to watch. Uh, I mean, like, he is every, in you. He's no, in your peripheral I'm, vision. I'm feeling for you, Jeff. Oh, okay. I, I really am. I, oh, yeah. I take it back. I'm, I apologize. Can you confuse that bowl anymore? Hang on. I'm rubbing, Yeah, I can totally do it. I'm rubbing my temples here, Jeff. I'm thinking. Do you have a strong signal on your memory? Yeah, it's, it's it's coming in. I gotta rub it a little harder. What the, um, <laughs> the Queen of Clubs, have you gotten that one? How many queens have you gotten? Oh, wait, I know what I need to do. Oh, you've jogged corks. You've tonight. jogged my memory. <laughs> oh. I have a memory. Your okay, memory. I don't need that. Oh, wait, what was that? There was a hook I've there. already done that. That's where I put my guitar the first time. Uh, yeah. uh. Have you met Dingo in Flagrante? Hi! Let's see here. As long as that bowl out. Uh, which one? That's not what I want. Uh oh. That Did you ever beat good. Eagle? Yeah. Yeah, I totally beat Eagle. Okay. Mm -hmm. You beat all three of those guys. Yeah. Oh, I okay. just need the last guy. Uh -oh. Remember, we f I fought him and we couldn't figure out what to do with him. Cobra? Now I know what to do because oh, yeah. I've got you confusion. Want to hit him with that confusion grenade. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's when I was uh, schooling you on wrestling knowledge. You were? Mm hmm. That happened. I don't remember that. No, but we were. Oh, uh, yeah, but, but. I, I think you were more you were, you were more aiding him on Nest wrestling knowledge. I felt I, I felt like that was a co-op exercise. But yeah, I think Jeff, your memory is like yeah. mine. I think yeah, getting going to Cobra is a good idea. Cobra. Doop -a -doo. Doop -a -doo. Oh, this is yeah. That's how I got the. This is weird for replay. We we're figuring stuff out. Yeah. Are you kidding? With memory. No. Huh. What was that all about? Just having some fun. Where the pink fern grows. I'm just confused what that whole transition sequence was. Huh. Okay, so now I can go in here. But you already did. But what? I... Remember I died? I didn't know what to do? Ah, <gasps> that's right! Because he's the guy I couldn't do any damage against him. Now! You can confuse with my him. powers. Yeah. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! Oh, that's respectful. You bow to him. Yeah. Or were you bound to the crowd? I think he's bound to the crowd. crowd no. Yeah. Just time to arrest the opponent. Okay. He's very nimble. He's I wouldn't have been able to keep my feet like that's that. That's quite steep. Champion comes out second. That's good nice uh, respect. Here, freak. What? What? You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Tegley? I can't be beat. Who's Tegley? His voice should be deeper, I think. You can't break my what happened to his nipples? <laughs> There's <laughs> yeah, all sorts of weird things going through. on here. Yeah. Look, One's winking at me. <laughs> hey, sailor. I'm a psycho Eyes up here. Never say no to a sailor. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously. I don't Dan, do you prefer wrestlers that wear just well, the tight underwear, or do you like it when they have, like, the, the full outfit? Like the dazzle. How much do you like to leave to your imagination? <laughs> it has to fit the character. Okay. You know? What does that mean? Well, like, Steve Austin wasn't the guy who needed flashy stuff. He had the cool vest. He didn't wrestle with it, usually. Yeah, or he had a t-shirt every once in a while. Uh, he like usually a saying didn't wrestle it. in it. Like, no, he wrestled mm. in black trunks. Two but that fit his character, right? Like, yeah, because he was he was a no-frills, just-go-out-there-kick-your-ass type of guy. He didn't need no fancy... He didn't need Black no. trunks, but he was in jean shorts a lot, wasn't he? When he was doing promos and stuff, he wasn't ever wrestling in those. Huh. Uh, but then you got guys like Shawn Michaels, who, like his character, he's a flashy, narcissistic, cocky dude. He comes out in crazy things oh, and glasses Fred. that flip up and a crazy hat and zipper pants and all sorts of stuff. Zipper pants. Well, no, I had like a zipper down the whole side. Okay, because I have a zipper on my pants currently, but I don't call them yeah. zipper oh, pants. Do it. So I'm just trying to figure out how to identify them. No, he'd make a big production out of taking them down. He had all the fireworks and everything and the posing. Like, it, it depends on the character. Oh, he dropped a confusion grenade? That's cool. Who has the best outfit in wrestling today? Fandango's got a pretty good entrance. Fandango? Fandango is Not pretty good. No, that's a whole part oh, of his game because people say Fandango and he refuses to wrestle him until they pronounce his name correctly. So it's Fandango. Fandango. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty Get great. Up. He's a narcissistic he, flamenco dancer. Does he like hand out movie tickets to people in the crowd? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Chris Jericho made that joke uh, when he was feuding with him. Oh, I'm Chris Jericho, by the way. <laughs> I kept that. I'm, my band's actually going to be playing here in a couple weeks. I heard about um, that. used to be called Fozzie Bear because we used to just be a cover. Uh, it was Fozzie Osborne. No. 
No, you. That's what we called it to the outside. Oh, okay. Um, Me anyway. and Tim are talking about, and Jason and Brian are talking about going to Chris Jericho's crappy band's uh, uh, show in Spring Lake Park in two weeks. Should be good. Are they crappy, or is that just? I've heard like one song. I didn't like it that much, but we'll be at a bar, and Chris Jericho will be there, so we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm still undecided, but Jason's I, not. I'm still on the turnbuckle about it. <laughs> I'm definitely going. Yes. Absolutely. Let's get drunk with Chris Jericho. Yeah. What? His head's off. You should win by yeah, default. Yeah, it's pretty ludicrous. You're not... Is that a, a legal maneuver? I don't believe so. I think Earl Hebner would step in at this point. He's got like a... Like a Sleepy Hollow thing going on. What's that guy's name? Headless Horse Jack man. the Pumpkin. What's his name? Yep. You got Jack, it. Sorry. Good old Jack the Pumpkin. The one Anybody watching Blade in the one. Anybody watching Sleepy Hollow, the new one? Nope. <laughs> no, I, I saw the box art on Netflix and I was like, this looks dumb. No, the box art? Or it's a TV show, but yeah, the, the whole concept yeah, yeah. is. No, there's, it's on Netflix, isn't it? I'm going to use our popular word on replay is ludicrous. It, it is crazy. It's like they come back in modern times. The Pumpkin King guy? All of it, no, yeah. Right? Isn't that on Netflix? Ichabob Crane, isn't Ichabob? that his name? <laughs> That's no, it's Ichabob. It's his brother. Um, what, isn't that on Netflix? No, it's a new show. Is it brand new? What uh, what station is that on? I'm not sure. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, okay. That old Tim Burton movie, the guy who played the Headless Horseman, I believe, was Ray Park, who was Darth Maul. Ah, okay. And Toad and X-Men. Wait, that wasn't the one where Christopher Walken played it when it he had a head, is it? It is? He yeah, was, that might have been him when he was yeah, actually. Okay. I liked that movie. I remember liking it. I had a crush on Christina Ricci. So. Nice job. What happened to her? Christina Ricci, gross. I beat you just like I did. Anyway. Uh, big ass forehead. Okay. Oh, come on, Dan. <laughs> it does! And weird to alienize. Okay. This is no good. Shh. Okay. Focus on this, not Ricci. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she was in that one, and then so was Depp and uh, Raz. That was a nice looking Tim Burton film, too. Tim Schaefer. And nice. Made it. Smile. <gasps> you were really happy. <laughs> I found my tag. <laughs> oh, right, that's got to be on this, this guy. Yeah. I got four queens. We're, I think we're going to find out why he's so sad. <laughs> he only has 51 cards. How many times do you think you got hit by that bowl? Not enough. But I can rectify that. I got him in this tight space here. Climb that. Tim and I played a cool Oculus Rift game last night where you get to be an elephant named Dumpy. What's the name of the game? Dumpy Going Elephants. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. Yeah. Isn't it an actual game or just like a it's, technology it's, test? It's pretty much a tech tech demo, but it's pretty fun. You get to have a trunk and eat uh, yeah, a bunch yeah. of people with it. Okay, it's hold on. Rails. Let's figure this out, guys. Yes. Now yeah, what's the, what's the story? What's the haps? Once and for all. Ah, reveal time. More cards. <laughs> I need eight more cards. There it is. Wow. That looks cool. It looks like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? It does look pretty cool. Edgar. Oh, oh I yeah. guess I can do it too. Yeah, again. This will be fun. Yep. Why would why would I have to do this again? Yeah, why would you have to start from the bottom again? Jeez. Louise. Jeez. Tim Schaefer. Don't fall. Noobly. Imagine if you did fall. Imagine it. It's like a VR mission. Pretty sure the last three people still watching the super replay would be done. Uh, like, okay. <gasps> Here we go. CG. I knew you would save me someday. Oh. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? It's like oh. Rapunzel. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, is it Edgar all along? Oh, it's the damn bull. <laughs> Got little booties on. The bull was Edgar. He's so in love with her. Wait, is that what's happening? <laughs> I think so. No, Edgar was the guy with the mustache. It was. Oh. That was him. He's the bull. He's not a... Look at the bull's face. People aren't bulls. I think that Edgar was a, was a bull. It's pretty difficult uh, to make your case now, isn't it, Dan? He does have a mustache. Yeah. He looks like Edgar. <laughs> yeah, he looks just like him. All right, let's see here. His love was unreciprocated. You don't turn into a bull when a lady doesn't like you. Hmm. Well, I don't know, man. You you went to college. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> like frat guys. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. Testosterone. Okay. I don't think we know what frats I, are. We've never seen this in a game before. Hit him in the butt. Yeah. I'm trying to 
I did this in the side scrolling oh, Bugs yeah, Bunny. It's game. one of these things. <laughs> For Genesis. <laughs> oh. Which one was that? Uh, I don't remember. It was actually pretty fun and pretty hard. It wasn't. He had the Crazy Castle series on Game Boy. Yeah, it was more fleshed out and felt true to them. Didn't feel like Bugs Bunny's sprite was just in a game. Okay. Oh, I got the name of it though. Yeah, I was big on the Tiny Toons game for Super Nintendo. <gasps> Buster, Buster, really? or whatever. Nice, you got him. Put a spear in his you, noggin. You gotta get it in his butt though, dude. Yeah, put it in his butt. That's working. Dude, but Eddie Murphy. I know it'd this. be better if it's in the butt, but the face works. They went too. straight to the butt anyway. Butters can't be choosers. <laughs> nice. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a guy. Whoa, you think you're out! That's name of your autobiography. <laughs> yep. Jeff Cork, I'm just a guy. <laughs> Can you, um... You didn't... It's, it was free. <laughs> Can you confuse him? What's that? Can you confuse him? I'm hitting him in the butt with a dart. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm that, sure this that, is a baffling <laughs> situation for him. <laughs> That would be really confusing for yeah. <laughs> Well, I like, just want to run into the wall. I should be goring you. <laughs> Why are there darts in my butt? There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the junior varsity pep squad ruin Jason, I want to thank you personally for the What's home improvement transition from the last episode. Oh, you like those? That made me very happy, yes. And at the end of the episode. Yep. You haven't seen that yet. No, I've not seen that yet, but I want to see that. My life! <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's pretty great. Yeah. Nice. No, wait, Edgar. I think he might be honest with Edgar being the bull. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> she called it by name. Yeah. Oh, no, that little butt shake was weird. Did it wiggle or something? Oh no. Oh yeah. I can't believe I stuck four of those bar poles in his back. you talked about good uh, gear on wrestlers now. There are two matador wrestlers now, and they've got some pretty good matador attire while they wrestle. How do they get that bull in the arena? It's actually a dwarf <laughs> that's dressed up like a bull that bounces around. His name is El Torito. And sounds like a circus act. It's pretty great. Little bull. Mm-hmm. Ingenious. <laughs> that's Jason A. Striker. Hi. You're kind of like our cue. Every once in a while, you just kind of show up with a knowledge bomb, and then you disappear. <laughs> like, Q showed up with actual bombs, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. anomaly bombs. Oh, okay. Are we talking Big about Q from James Bond? That's what I from assume. Star Trek. Oh, oh, come on. He's talking about nerdy stuff, Tim. We're talking about cool Q. Like bombs. Pool Qs? Pool Q. So, I'm pool a hard Q, time yeah. keeping That's up what he called himself when he was on vacation. <laughs> pool Q. <laughs> Can we pull you? Talking about nerdy <laughs> stuff. Okay, let's get back to our video game here. <laughs> Come on. Wait, why? I just watched an episode of Star Trek last night where they ha they had to reenact their OK, OK Corral. The it was why? Uh, alien abducted the them. The it's usually the. And yeah. The I actually do want to watch the entire original it's Star pretty, Trek it's series. It's pretty good because I think I might because they have episodes such as reenacting the OK Corral in space. So. <laughs> I think I might have. Yeah. You missed it. This guy has all the weaknesses of a bull, uh, including a spear in his yeah! body. <laughs> oh, through, straight through his torso? Oh, yeah. Both the giant spears through yeah. his chest. That'll do it. Dios mio. Just oh, crud. End. I'm out of confusion bombs, but fortunately, these beautiful flowers. Oh, don't murder the guy. This. Mm. Thanks for being patient, sir. <laughs> Jeez. Oof. Right in his butt. Well, that was actually through his midsection. Through his trunk. Okay, I need... Where is he? Yeah. Oh, Come on, whoa. you dunce. So now are you trying to help? There's I'm one more, Jeff. Yep, one more. Yep. One more right there. Tim, have you ever seen that clip of that bull goring that guy's nards a few years ago? I kind of remember something. Oh, it that. looks terrible. Yeah. It's just the horn goes right in his nards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need to hear more of that. There's no blood or anything. It just looks like he's still, getting racked pretty bad. Still, yep. This isn't based on that. No, this is uh, not a true story. This yeah. is where the bull got the idea in real life. They were just yeah. cosplaying that, Dan. It wasn't real. Oh, okay. Oh, God. It's not going to go looks, far enough. That arc sucks. Yeah. It sucks big time. Here comes El Odio. Does this predate Psycho or uh, Psyops? Uh, it's probably right around the same time Psyops was like 05. That system would have worked beautifully here. Yeah, oh, Psyops is so good. Oh, you son oh, of a gun. Oh, lordy. Force it, Unleashed was. Okay. The, their oh. force manipulation power. 
Oh god. Man, I love Psyops. Yes! Yep. The old bull weakness. <laughs> you could have just done that the whole time? Put his hand up and he'd stop? <laughs> She's the cheerleader. Uh, oh, she knows. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Oh, yeah, he looks like a bull. Oh, he looks weird when he touches his chin. <laughs> not I doing good things. I was hung up for so long. Wait, so now he's not a bull anymore. Good, Dan. He's, I think partially. Good. <laughs> what? That's pretty good. Attaboy. Moving on. Yeah. Edgar's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little Looney Tunes humor. <laughs> <for you. laughs> yeah. <laughs> well Here done, we go. Chad. Good Woo. job. Velvet World. Done. Velvetopia. Velvetica. Signed. Velveta. Oh, this is going to be for you, dude. When you deliver this it's just a picture of a butt. You may also chin. Hand him it's a chin with well, a dart in it. But I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude uh, for painting you a real work of art. No bull? <laughs> that's good. Good joke. Yeah. Rez is at the top of his game. You make light of my mental problems. Yeah. All right. All right. Another oh. another patient cured. Oh, why do you punch him in the face? This goes. It's nice. The... It's not like oh, I where you cure people. All right, where are we off to, Jeff Corbin? Now, let's see here. I'm just gonna walk into this wall for a while. No, I like your style. There's a that one lady that we walked past. I wonder if I remember a Gloria. Is that who you're talking about? What's that? What is this? What? Is that? What is it? I what is that? Dumb, but I'm in charge. I want to get inside his brain. Napoleon <laughs> Sounds complex. like a great idea. Yeah, just throw that on his face. Get in there. Nice toss. That'd be a good Halloween costume. Put a stupid door on your face. Oh, yeah! would <laughs> be pretty easy. Done. Yeah? Hey, you seen Psych? You played Psychonauts? Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, you have a door. Oh, I, I get it. Jeff, last year weren't you a dude that barfed all over himself? Maybe. It was good. <laughs> I like that. It was really it was good. Super gross looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grossed me out. How'd you make that costume? Just put your finger down your throat, or what? Made some fake puke and drew all over mm -hmm. myself. I was I was the guy who got drunk too fast at the party and threw up, and people drew on his face. And and the other the other meta part of his costume was that he came as a dude that waited to the last minute and just tried to squeeze into like a kid's costume. Yeah, it was pretty complicated. Little shirt and never Jeez. put his yeah. mask on. It was good. It was good. He created a whole character. It was it was a character study. I, and then the ironic part was that he didn't take a sip of any any drink. No, I drank. Uh, like energy drinks. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Jason, was that the night that we were learning how to, sh or I was learning how to shotgun beers? I think it was. Yeah, it may have been For one of the nights. Yeah. Former intern Mike Mahardy, <laughs> who's like 19 years younger than me, teaching me how to shotgun a beer. Well, we should be clear, it's not 19 years younger than that. He was 21. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's good age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty incredible you didn't, you, you've never done that before. It always scared me. Look, I, I guess that part is not incredible. Because it's the word shotgun, isn't it? No, I just thought it would just shoot straight down your face and I choke. And, hold on. I've done beer bombs. I mean the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe oh. it? Shut up! Stop telling people that shameful fact. Oh, this level's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is probably my favorite level. If I said that before, I, I was lying. said about 14 levels here. I was lying. I just could not take it anymore. This level's the only one for me. So what was that guy doing? He's hanging out in Edgar's brain, too? Or No, we were out of Edgar's okay. brain. Okay. This is not some Inception thing. Okay. The Asylum. No, really great, great, great Grandpa Napoleon. I do love victory. Like, uh... This is like Miller and Joe. So They're much. nerdy game nights. You can go now. I swear. <laughs> Your moves. You're probably... Joe, right? This is That's probably Joe. pretty close. <laughs> 
I'm not even kidding. That's yeah. probably pretty uh, close. They have like costumes and everything. I like how Joe just gets kind of sheepish and stuff when he starts talking. Like Miller will totally be like, "Oh yeah, we love tabletop night and everything." Mm-hmm. Joe's like does not want to talk about it. Oh no, like, it's great. Turns out Joe's a dork. <laughs> but Here we go. A, he has dork shame. Yeah, it's great. It's the best kind. Little he respect game. Miller more because Miller owns it. Yep. Whereas Joe is a, uh, ashamed of his shameful activities. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Then let the game truly begin. This is like Settlers of Catan. Meets War of the Worlds. Destroy that bridge for France. For France. Oh, this is the board game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really Suck like on that bridge. <laughs> Oh I like man, if I would have just waited a second, I would have heard yeah. the voice actor say it. That would have been cool too. Yeah, not that cool. Oh man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you those things from Dishonored no, walking around. Don't forfeit. We're going to beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my What does that mean? Did Sideshow Bob have said something about Napoleon blown apart? <laughs> That's good. Also, I don't know. Hey, don't touch my pieces. That is cheating. Hey, yeah, you can't touch his pieces, pieces, dude. That's like that the golden rule. It's like Stratego. Oh, I got two no lines of dialogue for that. That is cheating. Oh boy, two two lines of dialogue for that, huh? <laughs> That. You guys playing uh, Grand Theft Auto Five? Yes, a lot. Yep. Yeah, I got to the Napoleon Bonaparte area for that, the board game. <laughs> this turns into a big naval battle yep. thing. Assassin's no, it's just Creed like 3. when you redo missions, a lot of them have new dialogue yep. lines. Just I like, like four. Just the amount of content in that game, crazy. Uh, speaking of that, that reminds me of the Bionic Commando Easter egg him. from the new one. What? Do you remember this? Bionic? a different dialogue when you die on a mission? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the weirdest thing. I thought I was going nuts the first time I heard that. Uh, so, for those who don't know, your stupid hot dog hair guy or hot dog arm guy uh, fights this giant Nathan worm Rad thing. Spencer. Yeah, Rad Spencer. He fights this giant worm thing. And the first time you fight him, uh, he says like... Oh, yeah, yeah. So he sees the, the worm and he talks on the radio. He goes like, oh, it's a gi- giant worm of some kind. Guess I'll have to fight it. And if you die... <laughs> And I, the, the subtitle still says, guess I'll have to fight it. And he goes, guess I'll have to f*** it. <laughs> and yeah. the first time I heard that, I was like, there's no way he just said that. And I looked Yeah, it that's up. just like a Rikert's brain Yeah, misfiring. I thought for sure I was just hearing something silly. And then I looked it up, and he totally says it. You can YouTube that. It's also just dumb and doesn't make any sense. Which I kind of like. Give me that. I just want those things. An entire game like that would be great. Just random nonsense. I'd play that. Saints Row. It's pretty close, actually, yeah. Four was disappointing. I feel like it's kind of forced nonsense sometimes. It's um, disappointing, yeah. yet you gave it a 8-5? I liked it a lot, <laughs> but it's like, I gave the first one a 9, or the third one a 9. Right. So, yeah, it's it was disappointing in that it's sense. It's a step down. I feel like you want to ride that. Huh? I do want to ride it, but I slide off of it as though it's like a greased cork. <laughs> My favorite kind. Ooh, insert gross. stupid gross joke. I didn't <laughs> intend for that, but whatever. <laughs> Wow, you can take that so many directions, dude. That's not see your look at name or slide just a right cork. Up. Yeah, so much depth in that joke. I know, I like it. We'll get back to you, greased cork. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> we can get all the secrets now. <laughs> you sure, that's the only sound that guy could make. <laughs> you sure, you sure mouthed that tag. That's yeah. such an odd choice for that. Yeah. This game's kind of weird. All right. So, yeah. So what was the guy in the house uh, telling you, Jeff? That I have to restore Dan was faith talking in, all over in it. Fred. You ever see Drop Dead Fred? Uh, a long time ago. I saw him in a drive-in movie theater. Did you? Yeah. Kelly's mom's in that. My wife, Kelly. Really? Yeah. Who is she? She is at a hot dog stand, and she serves... Uh, uh, Carrie Fisher, a hot dog. She got the supporting actress Oscar? Yeah, I, okay. I think so. Yeah, extra. Nice. Is nice. she a career Do- actress? No. Okay. She just happened to be there when they were filming yep. Drop yep. Dead Fred? Yep. That was in Minneapolis. Curry Fisher. Really? Yeah. Was she an actual hot dog sales lady? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Did you say well, Curry go Fisher? Go way into her lore here. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> history I, on this this replay. If I opened up a Star Wars themed restaurant, I would have some sort of fish curry that would be called Curry Fisher. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, why don't they have like the cantina as an actual bar you can go to? Wookie cookies. That would make a lot of money somewhere. It really would. Even, would you could even have another one that's Jabba's Palace and have animatronics like Chuck E. Cheese. Non-solo. Well, if they had the cantina, every bartender would want to kill themselves whenever they heard the music. Because, you know, that's the only oh, thing they would God. play on repeat. Well, they have the a full time. album. No, 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 no. no. The cantina band does? Yeah, of oh, course boy. they do. Luke Piewalker. <laughs> what would that be? Java. Like, Java the Hut. Mm-hmm. I mean... Keep going. Uh, Flan Solo? Flan is good, actually. <laughs> I said I said non-solo, but... That works, too. Uh... uh Greet like Greedo fun. Nut. <laughs> uh, Chewy Bacas. <laughs> I said Wookie Cookies. <laughs> Wookie uh, Cookies is a lot better. <laughs> Chewy Bacas. What would um, you do for mac and cheese? That's the only way you get Dan in there. Uh, hang on. Tuscany Raiders. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Ridge Raiders. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Millennium Falcons. Oh! Oh, there we go. Uh... Uh, this is all desserts, though, I'm noticing. This yeah, is, we need like, some drinks. We don't really have a theme for the menu here. Yeah. Uh, I really want to break those. Emperor Peppertine? <laughs> Peppertine. Uh, Peppertini. That's the drink. Nice. Mark Honey Hamill. <laughs> It'd be like a beer, right? Uh, uh, it looks like he actually just a full honey ham, but we could go either way. Oh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, Thai fighters, but it's spelled oh, T-H-I. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. You might as well just start this, Tim. Yeah, I'm yeah. working on it now. Don't, more. I'll don't steal my your, ideas, uh, please. I'll work up your retirement paperwork from Thank Game you. Informer, and you're on your way. Oh, Boba Fettuccini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's gotta be like an indoor or Ewok something. Oh, like. indoors yeah. are like your kind of like desserts. Well, yeah. and like <laughs> okay. Just have a walk. <laughs> yeah. So oh, you have your Ewoks. Ewoks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Boba Fettuccini. <laughs> That's a really good one. Uh, Hoth wings. <laughs> Not as good, probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd, <laughs> you'd have your your appetizers would be Death Starters. <laughs> Death Star. Death Starburst. Um, well, yeah. you could have, uh, like you said, with Tatooine, or you could have Adat in that too. Ooh, okay. Ratatouille. Rat oh boy. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks. There's got to be some roasted chicken walkers. Rat at that two fried chicken walkers. Do you need the Anakin's menu? <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the Anakin's diet? <laughs> 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 oh, we have an entirely uh, organic option too if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many of these. Yeah, like, there really are. Of characters, silly <laughs> names. Uh. uh. Don't forget to lick the salacious crumbs off your plate. <laughs> <laughs> what would the bathroom door say? Oh, wow. Um, just <laughs> Carrie Fisher and everyone else. Because <laughs> she was the one lady. Queen Amidala. Yeah, I guess she was in it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was uh, actually when I got Carrie, um, oh, what's her name? Um, Nellie Portman and Kira Knightley. I, that's when I learned they were different people. <laughs> Both very attractive. Yeah. For this guy. Mace Windu's got to have something. You could have a Nat Natalie Port, which is like a wine. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're all just thinking yeah. about <laughs> silence, <laughs> silence and puns for this Napoleon Bonaparte section of the. We never go into puns on replay. This is great. Yeah, ever since the Luigi one with the boot nice. Crap. Look at that guy on fire. Mm -hmm. So violent. Is he dying or is he just okay? You made. Oh, you, there he goes. I need a. Can I get a table for Obi Wan? <laughs> you said bib for tuna fish salad, right? <laughs> <laughs> you made me fall off the 
platform. <laughs> Been poor tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid stir. It would be the best. It really would be. It really would be. So this level's great. Yeah. Mostly because of the puns. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that cannon figment too. Oh, that was a good jump. No! To nowhere. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that platform is shiny. Dago Baba Ganoush. Oh, That's good. I like that. Yoda pop. <laughs> I'll have a Yoda pop, please. <laughs> <laughs> a diet Yoda pop. <laughs> Ugh. Did you guys right. ever go I to the Star Trek this. bar in Vegas? No, I've never been to the, uh, At the uh, Hilton, the Las Vegas Hilton? Yeah, it was like a whole big Star Trek experience. Oh, yeah, didn't and they, they had the one from... Down? I think it was Deep... Yeah, it was Deep Space Nine's bar. Oh, with, you... Who was that little guy that ran it? Oh, it's, um... Gosh. The, the ears. The big oh, crazy no. ears. For the Ferengi guy? Yeah. Wow, damn. Nice. Wait a Jason. second. Whoa. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Jason, you got whiplash I gotta there? go. Wow. I gotta go. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I know that. I've never seen a Star Trek episode. Because you're secretly the biggest nerd in the world. Because you're putting Star on Trek. a tough front. All right. I'll tell you, I'm a tough guy. Um, okay. Crispin's really good. Oh, this is totally like Joe and Miller. <laughs> Whoa. Is Joe the Napoleon? Well, there's a couple of Napoleons. This doesn't end well for them. That's how the Candyman movie starts. There's more bees. <laughs> there is. He, Candyman also played the protagonist in uh, the Night of the Living Dead remake. Did you ever say it in the mirror? How many times was it? Three? Five? Three times, oh, yeah. Uh, so well, just, obviously none of us did. Because we're here, True. yeah. I'll do it right now. There's no mirror. Yeah. I got a phone with a front-facing camera. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. See if that works. What do you say? There's you a, just say his name three there's times. There's a door. There's a window. So we're... If there's a window in the room, it doesn't work. Did you just say Candyman three times? Well, we got the blinds closed. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Jesus. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's just him. Okay. Yeah. Buzz. But that's what would happen. Yeah. That's a simulation. Only if it was fatal. actually a mirror. Oh, okay. And then you get killed with bees or something. Yeah. That doesn't sound pleasant. Mm -mm. Why would you say that? I love this level so much that I have completely forgotten what you're supposed to do in it. So, <laughs> it's pretty great. Dan, do you remember? <laughs> ah, let me think. Hang on. Oh, God. Well, that's good. Uh, Get those. I cannot. Uh, he hates water for some reason. Maybe we'll explore that later. A lot of figments to get. Oh, up there. Jeff. Right there. Use your vacuum cleaner. Yeah, you're in Waterloo World. I do remember Waterloo World. I think there was 243 figments. In oh. oh, this is going to be fun. I think you have two sizes. Remember that? that Large and small? Yeah. You remember that? I don't remember how to get... When you're large, you'll be like Gogolor in uh, Lungfishopolis, if I remember right. Yeah. And uh, But you can't crush anything. You can you can walk all around the board, uh, including the water tiles, actually. And in large mode, you can use TK to move your pieces, remember? Mm. And when you're small, you're like down in the game and you're Collecting interacting pieces with it. And, and you're like in bonuses. a medieval town. But you can't go in the water when you're tiny and there's, you know, sensors and cannons and stuff. Well, yeah, I don't... If you want to go from large to small, you just focus on any building and, and press use, if I remember right. If you want to go from small to large, you just pop a champagne cork and then float up in the gases. Yeah, that has really worked well for me. Let's see. There's one. Sand huh. crawlers. Like what? Donuts. Oh, sand crawlers. <laughs> crawlers, thank you. Crawlers? Is that how they're pronounced? Crawlers, yeah. Oh, I just learned something today. Sand crawlers. Ah. Is there a different way to yeah. fry wing? Maybe just punch it while you're on it, Jeff? <laughs> wow. What? No, just his... Yeah, don't do just that. Just standing on it. I'm trying. No, no don't just do a punch it. Thing. Can you just punch it while you're up there? You just stand on it. This is painful. Jeff loves it when stuff like this happens. I love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just stay. Just don't touch. Don't do anything. Can you fire? Oh, if can you, you need do to something? activate it. I need <laughs> to activate it. Oh, can weird. you do like one of your other powers on it? What was that? So there's not a way oh, to. Oh, that like, was just putting my thing away. There's not a way to like get big. I want to embiggen myself. The noblest spirit embiggens the 
whatever it is on Jebediah Springfield's thing. See, but if I do this, you fall right off. This seems like feudal here. Feudal Japan. That doesn't no. seem like it's it. And then it gives me a bunch of exclamation points, though, but whatever. I'll check my memory again. Let's, yeah. We'll just think about this for a little bit. Pretty sure it was pretty forward in my memory. Yeah, punch the champagne cork and then float up in the gases. Mm -hmm. So maybe don't in stand the on gases. top of it. Maybe oh, yeah. use your ball! Oh, yeah, I do kind of remember that, yeah. <laughs> use my ball. Punch it, punch it, and, and then ball it! Woo uh, this clearly isn't working, though. <laughs> there. Alright, so there... Well, that's they, how you get big. And big and... Now mm. you're small again. Yep. Yeah, you use any building to get small. Oh, get that, get that cobweb. <laughs> that wonderful sparkle. Nobody wants to help. Hello that's the there. problem. We're trying to help. help. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this. You guys are great. <laughs> awesome. In the game, no one wants to help build bridges and whatnot. Okay. I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on Qui Gon Gen and Tonic. Most iced tea. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Canned tuna. Okay. If I'm a burglar, uh, then how can I be down here to you and up on the Max Rebone the steak. <laughs> it's a deep cut, but <laughs> sorry. A delicious <laughs> cut. I was thinking <laughs> salacious crumb brulee. Oh, that's Would good, too. <laughs> Sice noodles in a, like, a cream sauce, maybe? How come we'll have silence Sci for noodles. like five minutes and then we'll just have like 19 and two seconds? Yeah, exactly. It's great. We've been saving them. Just waiting for someone to, to kick it back off again. Yep. Yes. All right, so what are we doing, Jeff? I'm going to kill some people on the roof. Hash compactor? Oh, boy. Hash compactor. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> uh, Corn troopers. Corn troopers. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like a little... Storm uh, supers. Like a hush puppy. Some corn troopers. Alderan Dewey sausage. That worked. Alderan and Andouille sausage? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Alderan the Alderan, planet that blew Alderan up. Alderan Jovies. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> No, nope, still don't happy know. with mine. I just don't get it. <laughs> you gotta see Star Wars one of these days. Yeah, a little slow. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a squirrel, dude. You just pass up squirrel, man. Oh, whoa. Mark ham and eggs on a Coruscant. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can look and see. This is a fun little touch. You can see the guys. That's the game that I'm in right now. Napoleon would uh, like this is like Inception. Napoleon would eat a Coruscant. <laughs> okay, it's one of those. It, there, yeah, huh? I'm trying yeah. to. I just want to. Ah, yeah. Ooh, uh, no. I think there's an invisible wall. Oh, boo. Yeah. There's an invis invisible expansion to that house. Boo, Tim Schafer. Boo. You're better than that, Tim Schafer. I can't remember if I bugged this guy yet. Hey. We really need your help out here on the battlefield. Farmer. Did you talk to Fred Bonaparte yet? Oh, yeah. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so I got a hint. What was the uh, rule 34 or whatever the kill all the Jedi's thing was? Order 66. Order 66. Yeah. Oh, 34. Uh, order 66, please. Yeah. <laughs> Every order 66. Order 86. 86 is what you say when something's off the menu, like when you're uh, out of something. Okay. We have to say it in the Emperor's voice. <laughs> yes. What a jerk. Oh. Yep. Jeff, you're becoming so good at this. Ha! <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's a sensor. Uh, What's he holding? Tic tac toe board? Die, die, die. Hey, wait. Good camera work. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Whoa, whoa. Just having fun. Come this on. is gross. Come on, Just Tim loving Schaefer. that. Jeez. 
This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Mm -mm. Hey! Wow. All right, we got to stop oh, thinking gross. about Star Wars fun. I, yeah, I know. It's, really, really good. <laughs> it's really hard. That's um, all I want to think about. The ones I haven't on. said are terrible. I was trying to think of something with Lando Calrissian, but I kept on going to Castle Roll, and it doesn't work. I had like a Sarlacadamia nut thing, but that wasn't good. Oh, That's shoot. good. Eh. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, good. You can get back on that cork? No, but I want to get back on that roof. Cork on cork. Gross. Can't remember... What's the best pun you've ever heard on your name, Jeff? Uh, I have yet to hear a good one. Okay. So, that's your admission. You ever hear someone with, like, a name Ooh. that's really punnable, and you, uh, you say something to them, like, so I'm sure you got blank all the time, mm -hmm. and it's the first time they've ever heard it, but they're never impressed by it. Yeah. So I'm sure they've probably thought it. Well, I had one for you, I can't remember what it was, though, that you said you'd heard it was... The story's not great if I can't remember it, but if it'll come back, I'll. I There's heard, the one I get a lot is the uh, Tim Curry, Tim Tim Curry, Tim Tim Curry. Oh, that's Tim that could have been Tim it. That may have been it. That's yeah. that is definitely consistently the one that everyone thinks that they are geniuses for. But and I sadly have to let them know that I have heard that before. Yeah, when I was little, a bunch of bullies thought I was really clever. That I guess backwards they thought my name was Nad Tracker. <laughs> 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 Which Nad? Okay, yeah, that's objectively Nad. Uh, but that's no. the best part of it. Riker, it's definitely that. You don't need any more. Have you downloaded that app? <laughs> Nad Tracker? On your, <laughs> on your phone? <laughs> Use the GPS to find You nads. don't need it often, but there's those weird moments. <laughs> you just need some Nads right now. Quick. Uh, Alright, Jeff, what are we doing? <laughs> iOS 7 is really uh, I'm trying sweet. to do exactly what I was doing before. Get back on that roof. I gotta beat that guy up, because I think that's what the guy was upset about. Do you have to be bigger or no? No. Look up there. Do you see those guys? That was kind of cool. Mm hmm. The actual. Oh, maybe not. I hey, don't oh, know. That thing in Fable. The hell? Fable 2 or 3 where you're playing on a board game and you can see the big people. That was Yeah, three. that was great. I thought that part was cool. Yeah. I like the Fable games. All They're of good. them. I liked all people three of them. Give them too much crap. They're good games. The yeah. uh, Banjo Kazooie, unfortunately, comes to, like, for me, a grinding halt when you hit that last board game. It is so rough. Uh, I think that. Oh, I remember alone. watching you do that during that charity marathon. Yeah, you know it was what? rough. Actually, maybe since I did, the, I played Banjo Kazooie for last year's Extra Life, which I should say we're doing another Extra Life marathon on November second. Uh, it's a Saturday. Um, Jason's putting it on. A couple uh, of weeks from now. Three yeah. Weeks from now. It's pretty. It's pretty close here. So we're going to be doing it for twenty four hours. What was the date again? It's uh, November second. And where can they tune in? They can tune in on GameInformer.com. Um, and so we're going to. I played Banjo Kazooie last year, and. Uh, I was wondering if it was better. That, like, I've always liked Banjo Kazooie more than Mario 64, but maybe this year I'll play Mario 64 and finally weigh in on what I think about that. Michael, do, did you do Banjo Tooie yet? I have not played Banjo Tooie. That'd be a good you call. You should do that. It seems like you should go there first. Yeah. yeah, probably. I played a good chunk of Banjo Tooie, and then I think I've said this before, but I don't remember what year that was, but I remember I was playing it, loving it, and then I read Reiner's review, and he called out the frame rate. And I could not unsee the frame rate. I it had not been an issue until Dude, I'm I. Sorry. It's all right because people that are frame rate savvy and can see that sort of thing, they should be warned. And then I looked at him like, "Wow, there are some frame rate issues." And I, and I don't know. I guess I got bored with it then. <laughs> Just ruined your life. I guess so. Hello. I don't know. Just, Everywhere you look, you see frame rate. Yep. Sorry. You know, know what I might do? I might do GTA Online the whole time. And just play with people in the community and stuff. Can we do, uh, Jason, can we do online and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to do that, because the internet at my place sucks anyway, so this would be a good way to get a bunch of that in. Mm -hmm. It's at your house? Oh, no. no, I'll get to play it here on the office connection, which isn't as crappy as mine. I might stop by. Yeah. Cool. Maybe. Seems Come like, on. Seems like you don't want me here, Dan. This is Tim's thing. Oh, man. Everyone's welcome, I think. Right, Tim? Uh, uh yes. Corner. Come on by. <laughs> hey, we made progress. Snails. I've been making progress. Don't worry. Save the vomitorium. That's an actual thing. Vomitorium? Yeah, is that where you vom vomit? No, or? it's where... It might be where, like... Plato and all those Greek guys had sex with each other or something. I don't know. No, I think it was when people left the Colosseum that exit was called the vomitorium, and people hear that and assume that it has to do with like gorging. Oh, I thought it was some crazy Greek orgy thing. No, no. 
You're thinking of Sex Palace. I think it would be. I think it would be Emperor. <laughs> it's like Pal- I think it would be Emperor Palpatine's. It, it would be on the drink <laughs> Emperor menu. Emperor Palpatine's. <laughs> Looking up vomitorium right now. It's a crazy Greek room or something. My big fat Greek room. Vomitorium is a passage situated below or behind a tier of seats in an amphitheater or stadium. Ding, 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 Jeff Cork. Jeff Cork's Ooh. smart. He is smart. I'm sure people had sex in the vomitorium, too. It's, it was oh, yeah. Chris Rock made that song. There's a lot of room said, in there. Don't have sex in the vomitorium, if I remember right. Misinterpretation of the term. <laughs> you pass through figments when you're invisible? No, here, Dan. Yes. Common misconception that sex? ancient Romans designated spaces called vomitoria for the purpose of actually vomiting. <laughs> That's gross. <sighs> Our baggage uh, is emotional baggage important for moving on? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It's just bonuses. Okay. <sighs> it's like c- collecting uh, tingles. Okay. Or wait, what are they called? Jing- Jingos. Jingos. <laughs> Jinjo? Jin- Jinjos. Jinjos. God. There are a few things funnier than Jeff Cork doing that stupid sound. <laughs> but he's right, that is the only sound they can make. Die. Die. There we go. Jeff, you feeling good with this progress? I feel so great. Far? I'm gonna knock this thing into a story. <laughs> Spill your guts. Vomitory all over it. Part two. Fred. Let's take a long look. <laughs> like, like 12 monkeys. Oh. Waterloo. Ooh, ooh. Oh, don't do that. Oh. 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 Well, he had every right to take it away. Yeah. You don't eat the pieces. Uh, Hanson got freaked out when I was teaching him how to play Risk, and I ate one of his pieces. What? what? Yeah, ask him about it. He had one character that was yellow because he ran out of his gray guys. And he named him Big Boss, and then it was the last guy he left alive, and I had to, to hammer home that I beat him. I just grabbed his Big Boss guy and <laughs> swallowed it. You swallowed the character? Yeah, it was really tiny. It was pretty easy. That's amazing. I think that <laughs> He was like, he freed us, like, you didn't actually do that just now. I was like, yeah, I did. Aren't those pieces, like, sharp? Not really. They're just, like, really tiny. Yeah, but they're, like, sharp edges on them. <laughs> Sorry, I turned into a cat whose tail you were stepping on for a second. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe this guy will help now. Can I get Tim making cat sounds while Jeff makes the baggage <laughs> sound? One, we'll two, see three. What, no, 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 no. We gotta wait for one to show up so Def, Jeff can get oh. into true character. He did it after the fact. We last just time. gotta find another baggage. Oh. It's something to look forward to, Dan. Oh, I want it now. You're wait, didn't I say you wouldn't be in this anymore? Oh yeah. Okay. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> wow, look at this progress. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go. That's a town. nice piece, Jeff. Sweet. And everyone who played this probably did what I'm about to do, because it's just... Ah! <laughs> Is that supposed to be, like, I don't know. drunk up there? No. Oh, okay. He's wearing pants. I thought he just looked up and he saw, like, a chandelier where his nad should be. Wait, was there? It looks like it. I Jeff? don't know. We'll never know. That's all the way over there. Check the tape. I'm all the way over here. <laughs> exactly. Check the tape. Now lying. look for some apples, because I gotta feed that guy. By killing some guys. You need apples in Tiny Town here? Mm hmm. Apples in Tiny Town. It's a Springsteen song, isn't it? <laughs> apples in Tiny Town. <laughs> <laughs> then they, they closed the mill in Tiny <laughs> Town. Oh, oh, yeah. And all they could eat were apples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much farting. <laughs> God, he got old. <laughs> the boss. <laughs> of apples. Clutch in his belly, just distended. <laughs> all he eats are apples. He gets all the apples. Speaking, speaking so of the boss. Tired of apples. <laughs> speaking of the boss, yes. do you remember passing the boss, Dan? Uh, passing the boss? You ate the boss. Oh, yeah. You oh, I don't out. remember, like, crapping it out or anything. Thank God. <laughs> to be delicate. <laughs> As, do you remember passing the boss? And I remember, like, my next three craps I was kind I of I thought worried. you were talking about the end of Metal Gear 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that was a great boss fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you're talking about pooping out a risk piece. <laughs> oh, I see. That's that different than that. That, that would have been a little yourself. concerned. <laughs> I think Kojima's original vision probably wouldn't have been too far off. I mean, I doubt I digested it. It was plastic. <laughs> a bit ridiculous, Reiner. Jeez. Give me a break. <laughs> Wow. 
tired of those guys. They're the worst. Oh, they got sleeveless. Okay, never mind. They're like <laughs> sleeveless. That's funny. I don't know. <laughs> so we're looking for apples still. Oh, they're. I just had to kill these dudes. Oh. No, yeah. are they sleeveless because like they're working hard in the countryside or something? I don't really understand. No, they ri it's like the Hulk. They ripped out of their shirt. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I like better than killing someone who's like stuck behind a fence. <laughs> they Snake can't do on anything about it. Yeah. It's it great is. when uh, you're playing like a boss fight in any game and you realize you're in some weird broken part where they can't reach you at all and they're just mm. going through their animations. And you can just pot yeah. shot at them all day. Pretty much how I played Skyrim. No. <laughs> <laughs> any any Bethesda game works game. Oh, that's like, how you, you can get guys stuck on anything. The arena is like immediately jump onto the entrance, so right. they charge out. And you're just like picking them apart with arrows. Reiner, it's like when we were trying to kill Mothrak in the first Borderlands, and we just stood in a cave, and he was like 80 levels above us. We just <laughs> you had a totally pistol. ruined my game. <laughs> Ow! We <laughs> died so many times. Yeah, we did. I die all the time in Borderlands. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all. It's but mostly no, what I do. Dan came into my game like levels guys. way ahead so ahead of me and it spawned this Mothrak and then left. <laughs> and Mothrak, if you remember, would just fly around that entire zone and rain death on you. Just fire crap on you. If it is truly a it's a disaster. More, then we are ready. Okay, here we, we go. No longer pull our heads <laughs> into our shells and hide. We are what is after that? All Snails. Turnips? And this oh. is our land oh, because they're too. French. We may not be fast, but we always march mm -hmm. upon the glittering path of righteousness, <laughs> for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward and let us eat holes in the leaves this is inspiring. of Napoleon's garden. What does that mean? Wow. Eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden? Garden. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can't remember what my other tasks were. Well, the ones, the houses without oh, I need to statues, get right? <laughs> that guy. Well, you can't I had to talk to Fred. That's right, so I need to get big. Can't fault this game for not having variety. Yeah, All these levels yeah. seem very, very different. No, it's been a fun ride. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. All right, now, I think, let's see, telekinesis. Hey, don't touch my pieces. Oh, so sorry. That is cheating. Hmm. Nah, better not. I should mm. only feed my own. We're actually food. playing the game now. I know. Wait. You ever play Grape Escape, the board game? Nope, just Ape Escape. Uh, grape Escape is awesome. You make you have these little clay Play-Doh grapes. Oh yeah! And there's like guillotines and all sorts of stuff. And if you land on the spot, you get to like cut so the other Jeff, person's grape in half. There you go. Half. You can move him. <laughs> oh, he's got to go right here where the bridge is, so oh, we can no fix it. Oh, no cool! Admiral Snack Bar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go that's a really good one. All right. Yeah. What? That's, what it, what's that's in a natural that? one. Yeah. What do you put in that? Uh, I mean, that's just where you go to get some snacks. Like? The snack bar. Oh, I mean, I guess you get some fried tauntauns. <laughs> uh, or some, um... Yeah? Go on. I'm all ears. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we're putting you on the spot. Yeah. That's fine. You're pretty good at that. Uh, oh, it's great. He has an entire yeah, restaurant made. Not. Someone's going to make a fortune off of this. Admiral Snack Bar is about the most natural one ever. It is pretty great. Admiral <laughs> Snack. <laughs> it's a, it's a treat. Like what does he say? It's a, it's a, it's a wrap. It's it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. Yeah, that's what it is. That's You're what right. he sells. He sells different wraps. Uh, yep. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff. Yeah. As you're figuring this out. We're going to have to call it an episode. What? <laughs> Sorry, dude. I know you're, <laughs> you're really getting into it now. I know. We've done like a dozen of these, and every one of them's ended around this time. That's the thing you can say about this game. It got, uh, it was a little bit of a slow starter, but uh, these last three levels have been a lot of fun. That's salt. Whoa. What did you just do, dude? Yeah, I just moved the salt so I can... can't get a good grip. Oh, you use those on the snails, huh? Put the salt on the slug. <laughs> Nah, better not. I hmm. should only feed my own army. This game's complex. Yeah. It's very complicated. All right, well, that's going to end the episode, Jeff. Why don't we save it up, and then we'll return uh, an episode. I don't even want to say the number. <laughs> it involves a one and a two. I just did a bad thing. I just talked to this guy. 
Uh, uh, do back? Oh god, he's talking. Wait, what are you doing? I'm skipping past stuff. Why? Are we mission critical at this point? No. Okay. You had such a nice outro. Now we gotta prepared. start the game over. And we I missed that. I we gotta start the whole game over. Oh dear. Uh, That's fine. These people are hiding out in their houses. Okay, they're hopeless, hungry, and unarmed, in case you couldn't read that. Yeah, but... So you Nerf see, burgers. Game, but <laughs> <laughs> scruffy looking Nerf burgers. Yeah, that's like great. That. I want my burgers to be scruffy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a word I want associated with my food. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Put on ends on them? Yeah. Get Land extra of scruffy, calamari <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and you, you, you're too charitable. All right. There That's we it. We're calling it. Yep. We're saved. Thanks for watching uh, the last three people that are out there. Hopefully, we'll keep all three of you for the next episode. We'll yeah. see you in number 12.